Hi everyone, it's Suraj here from Soltech. In this quick video, I'll introduce how you can install and activate a standalone 3D Video Composer license. To start off with, all you need to do is click on the Setup Executable file that you can find in your 3D Video Composer DVD or in your download uh, files. Once you do that, uh, you will be prompted with the installation visit. Uh, and uh, it's essentially, it's a visit based system, so it's going to be fairly straightforward. Um, please note here, uh, it's recommended that you exit all Windows programs before running the setup, so please ensure that you uh, quit and you know, terminate all processes that are running that aren't necessary. Another uh, essential tip here is you need to disable your antivirus software, so just set it to snooze or disable it for the next hour or so, and then go ahead and install. Alright, so once you've done that, please hit next here. And, um, Yep, so the next thing you need to specify here is your destination folder. By default, it's going to be C Drive Program Files, the Salt Systems 3D Video Composer. Uh, if you'd like to specify a, di a different destination folder, by all means, go ahead. You can uh, browse and uh, select your D Drive for any other folder of your choice. Alright, the next screen here is your Select Features screen. So this is where you can choose what components uh, you'd like to install. So essentially, you definitely want to ensure you install 3 Video Composer. 3 Video Sync is a separate utility. You might not want to install it, so you, you or you might want to. So most people just uh, go ahead and install it anyway. So if you if you know what you're doing and you do not want to use 3 Video Sync at all, uh, just uh, use this little drop down here beside this uh, directory here and choose the entire feature will be unavailable option, and it will only install 3 Video Composer. Once you're happy with your selections, please hit next. And you can choose your default language here, but most, most of us are going to choose English, so that's fine. And uh, you can choose to uh, check this option here, that where 3 dbio Composer will launch straight away after install. If you don't want to, you can just obviously uncheck that option. Alright, so the installation takes about 15 to 20 minutes on motion machines, uh, depending on your uh, hardware and so on. So essentially uh, at some stage during the install you will find a second screen and this screen might be uh, hidden behind your original uh, uh, installation screen and you might not see any progress uh, on your install screen uh, don't stress, don't panic, uh, it's just the Katia V5 Importer that's installing in the background so uh, you can always drag this, this second screen out at the and you can see the installation progress alright so once uh, that's complete, uh, it's again very very straightforward you, you know, 3db composer did not ask you for additional information uh, did not even ask for a, a serial number and that all this comes in in the activation uh, once you request a license alright so I'll get into that shortly alright so to, uh, to start off with 3db composer here all you need to do is accept the license agreement and you can hit continue uh, once you've done that it's, uh, you'll be prompted with this little screen that comes up here so, 3 Video Composer licensing. This product is currently not registered, so by all means, uh, if you're using, uh, you're trying to just evaluate 3 Video Composer and just want to test it out, uh, you can run run it on a 30-day uh, free trial. Um, all right. If you already, if you've already purchased your license and you want to activate your um, standalone license, please click on register now. All right. So, like I said, this is uh, in a guide to activating a 3 Video Composer standalone license. So, if you've got a network license, I'll probably have to, uh, post uh, another video sometime down the line. All right. And uh, so, this is how essentially you can uh, activate a, a license, uh, a network license. You just need to key in your license server here. All right. So, back to a standalone license. Please click on install a license here. And by so, 3 Video Composer will automatically pick up your host ID. So why is the host ID important here? So essentially, a 3 Video Composer license is fairly unique in the sense that uh, it is tied up and linked to a computer's uh, host ID or MAC address. All right. So well, having said that, you know, to transfer a 3 Video license, it's not going to be as straightforward as SolidWorks. It's not going to be as instantaneous. There is a fair bit of paperwork that goes uh, with it. You would have to fill up a change of host ID form. I'll, I'll probably show that a bit later on in this video. But the main thing to note is, uh, you know, please install and activate your 3DBA license, 3DBA Composer license on the machine that you, you, you intend to use 3DBA Compose on for the foreseeable future. All right, so if you're not sure what your host ID is, uh, you can always run your Windows command prompt. I'll just show you guys that in a second. So um, let's come in here and just type ipconfig, oops, if I can spell right, slash all, and uh, it's going to show you your... Uh, your computer's MAC address, uh, your physical address here, and um, and the physical address up here. All right, so that's uh, your MAC address. All right, so that's again, it's automatic, automatic, automatically populated for you. 
Once that's done, please click on request license file via email and this is going to open up your email browser automatically for you. So if it's Gmail, it's going to open up Gmail. If it's Outlook, it's just going to open up Outlook. All right, so straight away, uh, an email uh, on your sent, it's going to be sending an email to 3 dbia licr at solos.com. All right, so this is where you come in and you have to fill up your serial number. So this is where you plug in your 24-digit serial number. It usually starts with uh, 90. Um, and then you key, key in your company name, your first name, your address, and so on and so forth. Once you filled up this form here, please send this to 3 via licr at source.com. And within um, up to 24 to 48 hours, you would definitely get a response. And uh, it, the response would be a, a, a license file that will be sent back to you. All right, so once you receive this license file, it's going to come in something like this here, what I've got here. So if I can open this up in Notepad, it's going to come in some, something like that here. All right, so all you need to do here is open up the license folder and you can just drag and drop your 3 dbia Composer license in here. Once you do that, it's uh, all going to be OK. You can hit OK here. Another quick tip as well is you can just drag this license file directly onto this, this little uh, button here and that will do it for you. Once you do that, hit OK here and there you go. 3 dbia Composer will pick up the license and it's up and running for you. All right, so let's, let's talk a bit about transferring a 3 dbia Composer license. So essentially, if you want to transfer a license, uh, you will have to fill up a change of host ID form here. I've got a sample right here, so you, you can contact your local application engineer or, or myself, and we can send you this form. All you need to do is, you know, uh, fill it all up. Uh, main thing is you need to need, uh, populate your existing host ID and the new host ID of the new machine that you intend to use uh, 3 dbia Composer on. Uh, you've got to specify a reason as well, so why you chose to uh, change the machine. Uh, it's just, uh, it's just, just for administrative purposes. So, yep. Once you fill this up, send the form back to us, uh, one of your local application engineers, and we can send this on to SolidWorks, and we can you know, generate a new license file for you. All right. So having said that, um, that's pretty much all I, I intend to cover in this uh, quick video. So I hope you enjoyed it, and uh, thanks for watching.